I, I can't I can't think of any hard thing right now in the shade house. <laughs> uh, everything everything is just straightforward. Everything is just simple. From the minute you start planting, you get you get the benefit and, and you know what is it about. It's so nice because it keeps me so fit in my health. Just keep get going something, you know, doing something for myself. Hydroponic, I really enjoy it. And we planted celery and lettuce, pop choy and tomato. Our tomato is bearing so lovely. It climb and bow through the mesh and it bear all up top. The first time that I would have reap it was a, a very rewarding experience for me oh god i felt great it was a very very good as you can see all the produce the pak choy and everything the lettuce was so very very big okay the substrate hold the plants and release the water. The ratio is 60% of paddy shell and 40% of sand. Or two buckets of shell and one bucket of sand. Well, you can mix it with your hand, right? Like this. Or if not, you could use the spade. It has to be well mixed because you know if it's in mix you don't get problem. And we need to ensure that we have containers that we're going to use which do not react with the chemicals um, that comprise our nutrients. So we have our mixing container, which in our case is made out of is, uh, plastic. We have our me measuring cylinder, which is made out of glass. And you would notice that our nutrients, uh, our concentrate solutions are all in plastic containers. Our solution A, we will be using 5 ml of solution A, 5 ml of solution C, and 2.5 ml of solution B. Therefore, our measuring cylinder, or whatever container we're going to use to measure, should be able to give us the accuracy for those small amounts of solution that we have to measure. With those three solutions, we would then make up to the mark with our Either we would use distilled water or rain water to our one liter mark so that we're able to get a homogeneous mixture. Well, we mix it up in the water and then we um, we use like this one the bottle so we bore it here so we do this when they're small we do them to 20 plants one one liter and then when as they grow we adjust it down to 10 plants so as they get bigger and bigger we adjust it to half of the amount And this is important too. In hydroponic, you must check on, on the plants to see whether if they have pests or they have worms. And if you want to grow it organic, you have to be there for them. You have to spend time with them because if you don't spend time with them and you don't treat them, you wouldn't get anything. Yeah, it is pop Yeah. 
Ja, dat was nice. Het is heel healthy. Ja, dat is heel healthy. No, dat is broccoli. No, dat is dit. Dit is broccoli. Maar wat we doen, als we ze nemen om te zien wat de andere doen, ze leren heel veel van de andere. En wat we doen op die conditions, let one teach one. How, how long how long it how long it is take to work? Yeah. You think like it work fast, you know? Because it leaves them all, you get them wrong, wrong right? Mm -hmm. Something is in the ground. It's cauliflower, right? Spinach. Spinach. I know. I thought it was a short one. And but she explained to me everything. And I saw her, how, how, how her table and the, the floater, everything in the water. And then I come back and do my own. The bubbles, they get oxygen for the plant. And the water. This was the four shade house built on charity. And other people come here to see how it's built to get their own done. Another item on the cake is when we, go. you see how many women are in there too. And when those women started chatting with each other, that's good. The women were able to cement. And to my mind, that all goes very, very well for the future. Oh, I have to try um, um, cucumber. Because I see yesterday how this cucumber got up in, in the, in the um, shade house, but it's stick. That was nice. Oh, I like how everybody interested in the garden and I feel, I feel proud that everybody compliment me about it. <laughs> so nice. Have you eaten it? Yes. How it is? Yes, like celery. Yes, no, this one doesn't. For the, for the rice with the paddy shell. So you ain't getting it okay. like yeah, before. I'm sorry about now when, I, when they're ready and they're harvesting meat like last week. I said, but not this part. Oh, you forget to let the pipe and put the hammer. Can you just knock the ball? You're not worried. One piece of advice that I think is going to make a big impact on anyone who wants to get into farming, into shade house farming, is um, to take the opportunity first and foremost to visit one or two or three operations. materials I start going. I get it done, get it built, get it done at a cost and for now I could say I, could, I make back more than whatever I spend on, on the um, shade house. I, I don't have to buy, I have enough and I can always choose which one I want to cook or, or what to eat. And number two, that, that is where right now my husband is sick and that is where I get my money from, from the garden. All my focus is on this um, hydroponica because I know the income and the, what I get from it. So I make sacrifice for it. In fact, I was a home base. That was the first time. When I reap, I feel good. I was proud. The Partners of America helped me with plants from for the starters. I get plants, I get advice and everything to know how to start. And from then on, I continue myself. I start with a small shade house and then I end up with a, a, the big one at the back. Now the hydroponic garden is very easy. Less time than the um, ordinary planting. It's very easy because in the morning you just go and shake up the water to get the oxygen for the plants. And you finish it for the day. <laughs>